Campus 6 weather forecast. All right, fantastic story. One thing that would help that garden is to get a little bit of some rainfall. We just need some help from Mother Nature, and uh, there's a little bit out there right now. It's just not a whole lot, and it's not anything, uh, unfortunately, to get overly excited about. We just have a few little light showers, few little sprinkles that are hovering out near the coastline from the Gulf of Mexico. But we got one lonely little shower making its way to the south side of Corpus Christi, right around Yorktown, and pushing out towards the uh, south side of Flower Bluff right there. But again, that's uh, nothing spectacular, but again, just a few little Little rain droplets that are falling in that neck of the woods with additional activity off into the Gulf. There is not any thunderstorm activity. Unfortunately, if you do happen to get one of these that makes its way to the coastline, it's just going to provide a few sprinkles here and there. And here's the reason why that's still bad news is our deficit over at Corpus Christi International uh, continues to grow. We've had exactly seven inches fall out there for 2022, but that is 7.65 inches below normal for this time of year. The U.S. Drought Monitor is going to update later on this morning, and uh, I have no doubt that that's going to be showing expanding drought over South Texas with a lack of rainfall as our lake levels continue to fall as well. As of yesterday, combined capacity is now 40.7, and these numbers will update later on this morning as well. Live look in downtown Corpus Christi, a little muggy out there, 76 degrees and a southeasterly wind at 6 miles per hour with some upper 70s over in Orange Grove, Mathis 73 in Alice and 74 off in San Diego. Even our friends in Freer into the middle 70s. But once you get to the coast, that's where the 80s are dominating. And the reason why we've been talking about the upper level pattern and high pressure and control. And when we have a high pressure overhead, we have a lot of sinking air across the region. It results in mainly dry conditions and we get a lot of compressional heating going on, especially during the summer months. And that's exactly what's going to continue to go on for today, tomorrow and even further further on into the weekend as temperatures are going to be heading higher. So again, a little bit of some morning clouds again near the coastline you could see a little sprinkle in there. But as the day progresses, uh, we're going to see way more sunshine as temperatures top off once again in the middle 90s and southeasterly winds will be picking up gradually throughout the remainder of the afternoon as well. And those can be gusting around 25 to 30. So a bit of a breezy to windy day. Triple digits around 102 in George West, 101 in Orange Grove, 91 in Aransas Pass, and 93 off in Rockport. And uh, we'll be looking at another round of heat advisories that begin at 2 o'clock until 7 p.m. for heat indices of once again approaching 110 degrees for many locations across the area. So continue to stay hydrated. The winds will stay breezy today and tomorrow, but the reason why temperatures go higher on the weekend is because the wind relaxes a little bit more. So that's why we'll be looking for those hotter temperatures. But in the meantime, the basal be choppy today. The seas three to four feet and the rip current risk is low, not non-existent, but low and it, it's still a very big danger out there. So if you are heading out to the beach and happen to get caught in one of these rip currents, you don't want to fight the current. You want to try to swim parallel to the shore to escape it and try to float or tread water. And most certainly if you need help, call away for assistance and uh, stay in knee deep water and stay close to lifeguards as well. So seven day forecast shows 95 today, 77 and 97 for tomorrow near one 100 on Saturday and Sunday. Good news is that tropical moisture increases next Tuesday and Wednesday, and we'll introduce just a couple of straight.